you are the very new resident, right? So you just came for the training and you have never done the, even the transthoracic echo, right? No, never. Uh, Only by myself. Uh, okay, but <laughs> it was just the first attempt and you yes. for sure never never did any transesophageal. And never, no, 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 so no first time. Okay, you are just watching what we are doing here. So now let's try. You have a chance to follow the steps that uh, Alec has just, just shown us and let's try, okay? So here you see that you know the rules. You have to show the four chamber view uh, and uh, try to do it. Okay, so maybe you should go a bit deeper. Yeah, to see something, of course, because we are very shallow yet. Yeah, go, 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 no problem. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you have to pass the aorta, okay. Keep the aorta in the center, more or less. Okay, go deeper. Mm -hmm. Right, and now you have to do the, this view here. I will just make it easier for you. What you have to do is to change a little bit the, the orientation of the probe. Because you have to go, yes. You have to do, yes, very good. And keep it. And uh, probably you have to pull a little bit high, as, as is, it's shown here to have really the four chamber view. Yeah. Slightly higher, a little bit more retroflex. I'll add you in one minute. Yeah, very good. Keep it, keep it, keep it. You see, four chamber, four chamber. This is what was to be done. Now intercommissural. I told you that we have to position the left ventricle in the center. Yeah, and now go to 60. Now we change it here. You see? Perfect. Okay. Now, uh, mid esophageal long axis, which means you have to see LVOT. So now we have to go... You can have a look here. You see the yes, angle? Yes, 150. Yes. Yeah, very close. Yeah, good. Perfect. Now the AV. So you have to uh, release the retroflex. Yeah and show the aortic valve in long, long axis. Yeah, yeah, a little bit more. Yeah, perfect. Now short axis. Short axis, so we should go the other way. Yes. Are you sure you never done this before? Okay. Never. <laughs> <laughs> okay, short axis. Slightly too high angle, maybe we should decrease it a little bit more, right? Okay. Now, what's next? Uh, RV inflow, outflow. Re you remember what we did to, to get this view? Mm. We increased the angle to approximately 60. Yes, so we have to change, keep it in uh, the center and then change this one. Yes. Yeah, and slightly adjust always, you know, the, uh, this one here. Pro opposite, somewhere here. Yeah, this was flexed, unfortunately, so once again, it's 70, it should be slightly uh, less. A little bit less, okay. Okay, it was already uh, done, so now the bicable, bicable already. Uh, bicable, uh, so now we should... Uh, Increase the angle slightly and go right. Go, okay. Good. By cable. Mm -hmm. And now mid esophageal left atrial appendage. So just look at the image and tell me where the, the appendage is, where, what you should do to get there. Uh, we should go uh, somewhere over here. Yes. Try to move, move the probe and see what happens. So maybe we should change. Maybe. Change it like that. Okay, this could be possible, but the easiest way to really well, yeah, you, you show it. <laughs> but the, the proper way would be to keep it uh, at uh, 60 and just rotate yeah. slightly. Yeah, yeah so that, but you did it right. Okay, you can, you can do it this way as well. And now the mid papillary uh, sucks, so you have to go slightly deeper. Okay. Wait. Okay, you, you perforated, that's nothing. <laughs> okay, sucks, good. 
two chamber. So you see the short axis and we have to see the perpendicular view, right? So keep it as it was and change the angle by 90 degrees. 90 degrees. Perfect. Yeah, but here you see that the, there's aorta. You are too much towards the right. So you have to rotate left. Yeah, this is the, the two chamber view. Maybe not perfect, but it's almost there. And finally, the long axis, you keep it as when it's green. And now long axis, so you have to move to see aorta. Are you sending a yes? Okay, and slightly correct the angle. Yeah. Yes, perfect. Good. Now aortic, uh, short axis view aortic, uh, this, descending aorta. So we should turn... At the back. Mm -hmm. But uh, angle, what, what plane rotation would you use? Maybe the... Zero. Zero one. Mm -hmm. And now go to the back of the patient you you are now you have you see the probe is now flexed so release it completely yeah okay and now go back to the back yes slightly higher maybe okay oh, there it is. put it in the center correct okay wait and now long axis so we should change the angle to 90 very nice Perfect. Slight adjustments, just to make sure we are at the very, yeah, this one. So you see, in this case, it's not 90, it's 112, because the aorta is just, you know, you passed, oh. really. Just one perforation and otherwise it's fine. For the first time, it's not that bad. It's really the first time, are you <laughs> yes, sure? Yes, yes. Thank you very much. So you see, transesophageal echo is easy. Uh, of course, in practice, it's much more complicated, but if you practice uh, a lot before you start your first examination, you have much less stress, you are much more precise, going to the right direction, going to the right view, and you will do it step by step easily. Of course, some views will not be possible, some will be very difficult, but most of cases you will do without much problem if you practice a lot. So, um, I encourage you to continue. Thank you so much. Thank you Thank very you. much. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Very much. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay, good.